So I'm taking this video to show the horrific service you get from Ashley's Furniture. So I'm just going to put this chair down. Really nice chair, nice recline. Unfortunately over here, there's a rip. Um, there's, there's a rip in the back too, but I'm not gonna do it. So this is the first chair. I got two chairs from this. Now I'm gonna move over to the uh, I'm trying to see I'm trying to see because I don't want to well this is the this is the love seat as you can see this couch is over there but this is the love seat so the first thing is we got damage over here I'm not going to take off the backs but the backs when you remove them they have damage too which tells me that they flip the chair and probably drag it which is why that's there the other thing was if I can show over here so so that's the chair as you can see the chair is moving so this button this button as you see is if you can see kind of hard to see um, but that's actually the lumbar and then the last one is supposed to be the headrest and it doesn't do anything so the headrest is completely damaged on the sofa as well as damaged the sofa was okay um, this one I don't remember where it was but this uh, this has damage right there as you can see um, so it was one chair, one sofa, I mean one um, love seat, the, the bench for the, the desk. Okay, so this was the bed I bought. Um, I didn't see anything bad on this piece, which is the dresser. Um, this is the chest. The chest did have a little, which I don't know, yeah, you see it's got like a little red mark. I don't want to try taking it off because I don't know what, what I can use, what will take it off. I don't want to take off the paint. Um, so the other major thing was, so obviously as you can see, if I can open this up, Actually, I'm going to just quickly go into my computer room here. Um, only because it's going to be a little harder to see. Um, but if you notice this, let's see if I can get it because it's kind of dark. Okay, right there, that's a rip. Hard to see, but yeah, that's a rip. So this is the other chair that is ripped. Um, the chair works fine. I tested all the features. but. If you look here, this is kind of how he left the bed, um, and they installed all this. As you see, look at the, the, the space, I don't know where he thought um, I wanted the bed, but anyway, the front, the front right there should have been up against that wall coming straight out. Woo! <laughs> um, so I actually have to twist this bed, I have to bring that all the way over to here. Um, close this door. Uh, so I gotta, so the bed should have came out here. I moved that little dresser into the corner. Actually, that's the nightstand. That's the biggest nightstand I ever did see. Um, but when I moved the dresser, because I have these, um, uh, moving sliders that I'm using so I don't scratch the floor. Unfortunately, when these guys were here, um, we got hit with the hurricane and had no electric, um, so, but anyway, so that, that should go there, then the bed should go right next to it, coming straight out, the dresser goes 
across the footboard. Of course, that would be over here, though. And then the dress is going to go either in that corner or up in that corner somehow. It could block the window. I don't care about the, the corner window. I got three. Um, aside from that, uh, the columns, as you can see, have these lines. Um, I don't know if these columns were created that they were two pieces put together, but that one has it, which is a headboard uh, column because you know they're designed differently than than the back. The back actually is screwed. Well, no, I'm sorry. One of them screwed. They're they're both clipped in, but. Oh right, the side, the side piece is screwed over here. That doesn't have it, that's up on top. But anyway, um, so looking at this, this one which is connected to the headboard has those lines, but this one, I couldn't find any lines. So this, this headboard was fine, but then the footboard, this corner piece, if I look, as you kind of see, has some lines and and little holes. See the line starts up there, kind of like goes down. So it seems like it's two two either two pieces, but it doesn't go all the way down on this one. Um, it's either two pieces or maybe the way it was laying in the truck or in the warehouse. See this one, I couldn't find any lines either. A few, well, there is actually one line right there. So, I don't know, I don't know if just something was, because you know, that's got like a line there, but a little line there, but then there's nothing else going up there, there kind of is, is there. So I guess three of the columns, so chances are maybe the fourth column does have something, I just haven't found it. Um, my other concern with the columns was, if you kind of look at that black, it's like, it's not on everything, that has a little, you know, but it seems like it's dirt or, or like grime, like these were sitting in a factory. Um, like, you know, there goes, a, there goes some more over here. It's like all of the nooks. There was one, one area, which I probably won't be able to find now that I'm videoing. Um, there was one area that had it on the top of the leaf. I had taken pictures of it. But like, all of them. I don't know if that black is supposed to be the design. It kind of looks like it's like this column must have been dirty and they, I don't know. It just looks dirty in some areas. So that was pretty much the issues with the furniture. Um, you know, because even over here, if you look, this is the, the chest. Look at that. That does not look like it's a design. That looks like some dirt, grease. Um, probably it's been sitting in a warehouse and it got like that that oily grime that is like so hard to get off but that's kind of what that looks like and I don't mind you know what I'm saying not that that something's gonna gonna be able to be cleaned but I'm not gonna pay full price for dirty disgusting stuff um, the so that was pretty much it on the furniture and most of the furniture like I said, um, if I look over here too, it's got some, some grime over there. So pretty much all of the furniture has some grime. The only thing that I didn't see grime on was I think the mirror. Uh, actually, let me rephrase that. There goes some dirt and grime in that, that one right there. That's the mirror. So pretty much all of the furniture has that black dirt and grime. I don't know if that's the design. It doesn't look it. So that's pretty much on all the furniture. That's the kind of delivery I got. So to summarize just the delivery, I got two damaged chairs. I got a damaged sofa, which has holes and scrub marks and the headrest doesn't work. I got a damaged bench. Um, the rest of the furniture seems okay, aside from the columns having lines and all of the dirt marks um when the installers got here i told them you know be careful you know all this is new construction nobody nobody's living in here 
Um, you know, obviously that's why I'm getting the beds and everything ready so I can move my tent in. <clears throat> um, you know, I just actually got the, these blinds just got installed from Select Blinds. Um, I actually installed them, but because um, uh, I even complained because those were those were disgusting too. They all the edges, all the edges are all looks like a chop job. But um, anyway, so you know when I spoke to the when the installers came, I told the installers that uh, to be careful of the floor um, and the door. Um, the door is okay. They scratched the floors. Um, I haven't looked up. I haven't looked under all of the furniture, like I haven't looked under the couches, which I will. Um, if, it, if, if it is, I can add notes to my video um, or make another video showing that. But over here, if I get down, you can kind of see scratch there, another scratch there. Actually, there's, there's many scratches here, like lots of them. And the sad thing is, each p each area that scratched and you can kind of see i thought i saw one yesterday i'm looking see that's the dresser that's the column but you see the scratch right there it goes under the column and then moves over and i think what that was is when they were moving the bed um again i haven't crawled on the floor to look at all the scratches but there's a lot of scratches right there um so unfortunately i gotta go after ashley to pay for the repair of that i'm gonna call the floor guy once i examine everything um another thing he did is when he installed these columns i just want to first show over here there is no damage over here i didn't really see any damage the light is there you know maybe got dirty but this column here, he put a hole in it and dirtied it. Um, the, one of the gray areas, he removed the sheetrock paper and the paint. Over here, the same thing. There's a hole and dirty. Um, just a disgusting job. Uh, you know, not to say it's Ashley. Um, it's, it was whoever they hired. I don't know if they work for Ashley. But the, the driver installers that came, there was only three guys. Um, they just did a horrific job. But I'll tell you, at the end of the job, I did see some of the damage on the ceiling. Um, but they made sure that they sent the first guy I signed. He said everything okay. You know, what am I going to mention damage to him? He can't fix it. Um, but I'm sure he saw it. I'm saying you, you'd have to be stupid not to see that you just damaged somebody's ceiling. Um, but then I said the second guy came, is everything okay? And then the third guy came, is everything okay? And they were looking for the tip. That's what, that's what that was about. They, they didn't care whether everything was okay or not. They were looking for the tip. You know what? They, they did nothing but complain the whole time, the one guy, um, that, that the stuff was heavy. Well, I didn't make the stuff. I only bought it. Guess what? You applied for the job. So, but this is my dilemma, or this is my experience ordering from Ashley Furniture. The first time I ever did, and I don't think I will ever recommend or order from them again. Still waiting for phone, phone calls back. Um, I got a phone call about 20 minutes ago. It got disconnected and they never called back. That was a call back pack that I requested. Um, <clears throat> just got an email from the claims department asking me for my order number and and whatnot um, I don't want to Advertise how stupid the claims department is the order number was in every subject line that I sent her the email But she asked for the order number So just the experience I have with Ashley I would not recommend them the people they hire I don't know where they get their education because when I read an email I read the subject line and it has order number right in the subject line and the order number um, just horrible experience but I'll try to update to see if anything happens but based on the fact that they can't even read an order number in a subject line that's pretty pathetic